Thank you for watching Smart Digital's Touring Screen Setup Guide. Your kit will include touring screen, tethers, carabiners, tarps, stakes, pegs, mallet and blowers. After deciding on your screen location, spread out the tarp over where the screen will be located and secure down with tent pegs. Make sure you push the tent pegs right into the ground so that they are not raised above ground level for screen and operator safety. Place the screen at the front left of the tarp and unroll to the right. Once unrolled, unfold the screen twice to have it in its inflation ready position. The screen is now folded in half on itself. The next step is to unroll all the tethers and lay them in the correct position for staking. The screen has 12 tethers in total, six on each side of the screen with three for the front and three for the rear. In the inflation ready position, the front tethers are located on the inside of the screen as it lays folded with the rear tethers located on the outside. The top and bottom tethers will be located at the front of the fold. The middle tethers are located on the inside and outside of the crease. First unroll the bottom tethers and place at full length on approximately a 45 degree angle from the screen for both front and rear tethers. Second, unroll the middle tethers and place at full length at right angle to the screen. Lastly, unroll the top tethers following the same line as the bottom tethers. You'll notice by following this order, the bottom tethers run along the ground, the middle tethers over these, and the top tethers over both. This setup of the tethers allows the screen to stand freely when inflated. If this process is not followed, the screen tethers will get tangled and the screen won't be able to stand up. You will now have to look at your stake placement guide sheet to show you approximately where you will place your stakes. Measuring this distance from the front tethers of the inflation ready position for both front and rear. Once you have the appropriate position to place the stake from the guide, drive the stake into the ground, angle it away from the screen and then attach the appropriate tethers. To attach the tether, hook the carabiners through the tether and connect to the stake. Ensure you close the carabiner once attached. Make sure you attach all of the tethers to their stakes except for the middle tethers. These tethers should not be attached until the screen is inflated. Also, make sure that there is the appropriate amount of slack for the top tethers. Refer to your guide. Once the tethers are attached, connect the blowers to the inflation funnels found at the base of each side of the screen. Just a tip, twist the blower funnel one half rotation towards the audience as it will straighten out when the screen stands up. Make sure that all the deflation zips are closed, two located on each side above the inflation funnel and one located at the top of the screen in the middle. The screen is now ready for inflation. We recommend that you turn one blower on first and allow it to run for 15 to 20 seconds before switching on the other, as the blowers draw most amount of power when they are first turned on and this should hopefully prevent any overloads on the circuit. As the screen inflates, it will get to a point where it needs a lift up on each side in the middle. With one person on each side of the screen, lift and push the screen up while a third person pulls the screen back using the top rear tether to avoid the screen falling forward. Once the screen is fully inflated, Attach the middle tethers to the stakes and make any adjustments to the tethers so that they all have the correct tension. The next step is to set up your speaker stands. Place one at either side of the screen and one at the end of the front stakes. Place the speakers on top of the stands and secure in place with the screw. When you're ready to deflate your screen, detach both middle tethers on each side. Turn off both blowers, then pull the middle tethers backwards so the screen falls in half back into the inflation ready position. Undo all five deflation zips, remove the tubing around the blower and allow to fully deflate. To pack up your screen, fold in half and then in half again. Roll tightly from the right side across to the left. Secure with the D-ring strap and place into the wrap bag and tie up.